It's Cyber Monday. Everything on LauraFarms.com is 20% off. 20% off, everybody. Link in the description. Seeing you here. Oh my goodness, that needed to go for a while. We are in the shop. Okay, so this is a room that you guys really have not seen a lot of, and that's because it was filled with this stuff. Junk. Junk, literally. So, like, uh, that's all trash. Um, a lot of, like, dirt bike stuff. So, we cleaned it all out, <clears throat> and... Grant and I had the wild whim. It's a Saturday afternoon. We decided we want to redo this room. We seriously have not used this. It's like, a, I think like kind of office-y space. I put this calendar here when we first moved into the shop. And December 2020. Hey, Almost a year ago. Nice car. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there's some serious work that needs to be done. The ceiling tiles, I don't know if you can see, but they're bowed and all sagging um there's just a lot of general like cleanup stuff first off um lots and lots of holes in the wall here um and it's all a big yellow color so there's a lot of potential for this room um we just kind of have to get to work and i kind of went back and forth over making a video about this but i decided that in order to have the motivation to get this done, I would be more motivated if I started filming a video and kind of took you guys along with us. So, I think we're going to try to get this done in two days. What's our budget like? What's our budget? 500 bucks. Let's see how much couches cost these days. We'll go shopping and then determine our budget. Okay. A thousand dollars. Let's see what we can do. So this is what really kicked this project off. Laura ordered a whiteboard because she wanted to be more organized. So we're really good. We in turn tear yeah. apart the whole shop office. Uh -huh. See, things gotta get worse before they get better. So I thought we'd make a list and then we can track our progress with our office remodel. Is putting light fixtures directly onto ceiling tiles like up to code. OSHA I proof. feel like that's not supposed to be right. Right? I don't know. I, that, um, hmm. I don't know about that. This is what success looks like. $300 later, we have a couch. And uh, that's the only thing we've gotten <laughs> for the room. Um, I guess. We did order a cool like table bar thing, but it won't come in until Tuesday. We went well, that's to okay. the furniture store. Like, oh yeah, we'll get some deals. We went to clearance section. All the couches, couches were, like, were over our budget. So, couches were like three so, grand on clearance. Facebook marketplace. So we sat on a couch in the furniture store and went on Facebook marketplace. And three hundred dollars we got. It's a uh, yeah, really nice it, couch. How about what they say? Three years old. Three years old. No stains. Paper. It's perfect. So, on to the hardware store to get some paint supplies. All right, next stop was Best Buy, and we are still under budget for our project. TV and ottoman for $400. It's the next day. It is the next day, and we have, honestly, we've stayed under budget, but like just barely. We bought a couch for $300. Uh, we spent $100 on supplies like paint and putty because there's a ton of nail and screw holes in the walls. Um, and then we also bought a picture to hang on the wall because I think decoration is important. And then we bought a TV, um, a TV stand thing for the TV to rest on, and then a little bar or table thingy. And we decided not to replace all the ceiling tiles because there's just a few that are bad. So we're just going to replace the really bad ones. Um... So today is putty, paint, move the couch in. Anyone ever done this? I've never done this, so. Me either. We're just, gonna, like make, later, right? we're just gonna making this up as we go along, honestly. All right, so here's the system we got going on right now. 
I am not tall enough to reach the ceiling standing on a chair. So Grant's taping the ceiling and we're just slowly walking around the room on chairs. Um, there's really not too much to tape in here because there's no trim anywhere. And so the windows, like, it just stops right there. Uh, so far, we what we've learned from this experience is that we should not remodel our house anytime soon by ourselves definitely hire someone to do it because so far well i mean it's getting fun it's not like we're arguing the problem is is that as soon as anything looks like a little sketchy we're like eh, we'll just leave it like the ceiling tiles we went from replacing all of them to painting these to just replacing the broken ones and then we just decided eh, let's just not replace so any of them like steel beams above these and i don't know how they got it in the first time. So they're like, a lot of them like, there's like a steel beam right above it. So you can't like get it out easy. You gotta take out all the stuff, so. So, meh. Also, I think both of us are just really, really excited to paint. And so we were supposed to give this putty stuff 24 hours to dry. And it's been maybe an hour and we've already sanded it and we're just ready to paint. Off. We also don't want to get ladders, so we've just been using these folding chairs. Very sketchy folding <laughs> See, the problem is with a folding chair is if you put your weight too far on the back, you fall. And uh, you fold too. You fold. And that's already happened once. So the system we've worked out is great needs to be on his tiptoes to reach the top. So so I just put some weight on the back of the chair, but see, I'm worried that the chairs can't handle both of our weights. So we'll keep you posted on that. All right, I'm switching fully to this chair. All right, ready? color we went with. It's called Lost at Sea. Ooh. Grant, have you ever painted a room before? Uh, I helped my mom paint a room one time. I've never done this before. No one's ever trusted me enough to do this. I'm I think very that's too excited. Much paint. I think we were supposed to stir it first. That's what the paint stirs for. They mixed it yesterday. It'll be fine. I also think that was too much paint. First time? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, don't spill any on the floor. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay. Well, we'll keep you posted. Yum. <laughs> don't drip. Ready, go. Ooh. Okay. We'll spread it out. Hmm. Well, I like the color. dark now. We have come back from family Thanksgiving and we're still painting. Still painting. This is the second coat though, so we've definitely made progress. It dries super, super nice. Like, not the space heater. Almost had the space heater go down. Um, it dries this really, really nice color. I'm a big fan. I think it looks good. Uh, there's just some like yellow spots poking through, so. Just... I've done the top. Yes. 
And the bottom. And the bottom over here. We still need to do the bottom over there. Working over here. Um, what do we think of white trim? So I was planning on doing this sort of trim, but I'm now thinking I will paint that white and match. It kind of matches the sliding door of those two windows. And those windows. And yeah. I'll put white trim around there on the yeah. bottom. Also, your fuzzy pants are wonderful. Thanks. They're so comfy. I didn't want to keep on my fancy fancy clothes for painting. You look like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> or, or you look like a paint roller. I'm just going to use Oh my again. goodness. I literally matched the paint roller perfectly. They're $8. I love bargain pines. Big bargain Laura shopper. is a big bargain chopper. Big bargain chopper. All right, so I may look like a paint roller, but Grant actually blends in with the wall. Hey, if you all. look just right, it's like there's no difference. Like it's just a head floating. <laughs> I'm gonna share this experience with all of you guys. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, delightful. Oh, it keeps going. Oh, yes. Ooh. Oh, oh my dude. That was beautiful, Grant. Thank you. All right. That might be the biggest TV I've ever seen. It's not the biggest TV we've ever seen. And growing up, we still had box TVs. I think my parents still have a box TV. I mean, we have been to Times Square. Do billboards count oh, as TVs? I mean, like... Biggest TV, definitely the biggest TV I've ever owned. Same, same here. Second paint, second coat of paint is on and it dried very nicely. And we have assembled this. Next, we have to move the couch through that door. So we'll see how that works. And here's our room update. The color turned out perfect. We did everything for under a thousand dollars. So this is okay. Don't mind the trash. I'm going to take care of that. The couch looks great in here. Uh, we got a little TV, a little action here, a little space heater, poker set, a little traffic cone. I'm not done decorating in here yet, but I just built this table which I thought was going to be difficult, but it ended up that taking the packaging off of it took longer than actually assembling it. And then we have this masterpiece. Grant made this. He stenciled out the state and these are all Nebraska license plates ranging from like super vintage to really recent. Um, anyway, so Grant made that, which is really cool. And I plan on hanging it, but I don't have anything that's sturdy enough to hang it on yet. So for now, it's just resting on the table. Uh, we have a few um, mounts and pelts to put in here. But for now, a, uh, let's see here, a two and a half day project. And we didn't spend all of the two and a half days on it. Uh, two and a half days and a thousand dollars. We have pretty much a brand new room. And I'm absolutely thrilled with how it turned out. Hey, what, what you doing over there? Well, this is the only spot by the space heater. Is it warm over there? Um, so I genuinely try to just stay right in this area. It's <laughs> a very nice view of the television here. Uh, anyway, so this is the shop after Grant has kind of made his own. <laughs> Customized it. Customized it. Still not totally done. Um, but we got a little hanging fur here. Um, anyways, what we really wanted to show you, step away from the heater, be all chilly over here. This is our lovely display rack. This is maybe 25% of the items we have on the website. But I just want to tell you guys, because it is Cyber Monday, we are running a Cyber Monday sale on my website. If you do not know, um, I sell t-shirts. I sell a lot of t-shirts. I've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, hoodies, tank tops, cups, koozies, stickers. Um, I also do a lot of Carhartt stuff. So like this is a Carhartt jacket here. 
very thick, insulated, and then it just says Laura Farms on it, and you can actually get it custom embroidered with your hey, name on it. Th that's my Look jacket. That. That's no one great. else can take it. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> um, anyway, so I know that it is getting colder outside, obviously, and so I am running huge discounted prices, not only on the hoodies, but on everything. So I've got a ton of clearance items from stuff like shirts that I first made, and those are already discounted, and those have extra discounts. And then what you see here is everything's 20% 20 20 off. We've so. got hoodies, here's a worn in hat. You guys will get a fresh one, but that's what it'll look that's, like after, after a summer of farming. A year. <laughs> yeah, t-shirts, more hats. Our heart beanies, all, our hats. All sorts of stuff. I'd rather be farming. There's the old truck. The old truck. Newly that released. Is, well, I don't know if that's, that will be coming soon. That's yeah. Sneak, so that's you might sneak find sneak. it on the website, but that's if you know sneaky. if you know about that, you know what we're talking about. Yes. Anyways. The so, long-awaited bummer dude t-shirt. Finally. Yes. Uh, so, anyways, I just want to Be watching say, for that. Might be on there. Maybe. LauraFarms.com. I've got a link below the video, everything. Everything is on sale, but it's just for today. So Cyber Monday, November 29th, 2021. That's the only day for this sale. So you got tank tops, t-shirts, hats. All sorts of good stuff. All sorts of good stuff, you guys. And Get some for your grandkids, it for your kids. It will have good Christmas gifts. I and mean, for yeah. everyone who purchased on Black Friday, I really appreciate it. If you've already ordered something, um, I do really appreciate it. It helps Grant and I keep the farm humming. 